What's up guys, Invader1 here again, and I am back with another speedrun tutorial guide, and you guys have been asking for it, yes, you guys have been wanting it, and here it is. It is a speedrun tutorial guide on Jade. Platinum. Okay, so this is awesome, we tore it up, we did great time, and um, I also want to give credit to the person and the team that came up with this tactic and strategy. Guess what, it was not the Xbox guys, it was not the PC guys. PS3 came up with this tactic, so congratulations to Jose and his team on the PS3. Uh, his gamer tag in here on the Xbox is Asian Zuski. He actually took the lead on this, and he was the one who guided us through the entire tactic, and I think it's absolutely awesome. So, just wanted to give that credit where credit is due. We had a great time with him, guys, and um, you know this is the strategy. So, for this, what you will want to do, guys, um, it will be preferable. You could use mostly any kind of. Uh, character when it comes to speed runs but in this situation you probably wanted to use a drill assassin infiltrator um, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you have armor compartments 5 maxed out if there's anything you have to have enough missiles now that we have um, uh, now that we have the capability to hold more missiles you need armor compartments to kinda do this kinda speed run this is a, a rocket run also you wanna make sure that you can carry at least six missiles you need that the Cobra missile launcher as you can see here I have six missiles I have to say this because sometimes people look at the speed runs and they're like oh man I want to do that and then you know they're kind of missing out you can still do it if you only have five uh, five missile capacity even four as long as you have armor compartments five so I just want to point that out guys to do this kind of this kind of speed run you would need to nuke quite a bit um, and if you don't then we are definitely going to be working on uh, speed run guides that have no nothing to do with missiles all right so that's that guys I'm going to go through each and every single point of interest uh, before we go into the speed run to show you the points uh, 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 where we are going to be at and uh, and that's it guys so let's uh, let's go through it now and then we'll go right into the speed run all right so when you first jump into the game you're what you're going to want to do is put your mine right here now when you're in, uh, in different positions in the map you're not going to be able to put it there anymore you're going to have to put it in the outside of that wall but that's pretty much where you're going to be doing it this is position one guys this is a position that is going to be constantly nuking you're going to be shooting at that roof but at the little edge that you want to make sure that you do get the radius of the power of the missile launcher the cobra missile now this is position two you have to make sure that you're facing exactly here and when you are in this position you're going to con constantly want to cloak every single time and the only times that you are detonating your your recon mine when position one is nuking is at the end of wave two and that that's pretty much it now for the third position third position is going to be right here the good thing about this position is you can face you know the front or the back all you're doing here is making sure that they do not spawn in this general area so you can look behind you you can face backwards you can pin face forwards and that's uh, the great thing about this uh, this position now the fourth position is right here and some can argue that this is the third position as well because uh, even in the speed run I actually go here as the third position but that is fine and you're gonna want to make sure that you're facing right here right at the center because you want to make sure you see a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right because and uh, because you do not want them to spawn right under the bridge or right at the edge right at your right if not you will get totally owned because they will spawn there all right so those are the positions and let's go through a few other things now for extraction for extraction you're going to want to want one guy right here blocking the spawns here and you're going to want the rest of the team all the way on the left side. So here, this person is going to be constantly blocking the spawn and shooting anything that moves, anything that comes through. In this situation, we have a nasty little cannibal who doesn't leave me alone. And then the rest of the team at extraction will be here, all three, the rest of the three. You'll be shooting straight up. You'll be killing anything that moves, anything that shows up there. You can use your recon mine, you can use your gun or whatever, and just have fun. A little turkey shoot, and uh, you'll be able to do that as well. And now, you have to be careful sometimes, even though, you know, if the person that is blocking the spawn moves forward a little bit, um, 
sometimes you get a spawn there and you have to be careful with that and when it is 15 seconds to go 15 seconds you might want to call it out of 20 but 15 seconds you definitely want to start heading into the spawn now one thing that I would also like to mention is that you have to pay attention to the fact that you will get objectives like targets and when you do get targets and I, and I will make sure that you guys understand this whoever is in position one will have to stay there and clean out targets either on wave three whether it's wave six or wave ten and that person will clean out their missiles on the targets and at the same time if they have any missiles left everybody at at the end of wave 10 has to nuke everything they can after they see the credits so if you do get targets stay in position one and make sure that you switch with the person in position two on the following turn on their following turn so i definitely want to mention that because uh, if you get other objectives individual devices then you would do individual devices or if you get an escort everybody does the escort etc or the hack everybody does the hack and then you use a cleanup missile and everything's good but it does change whether you get targets and you definitely want to make sure that you stay in your new position to position one so you can constantly clean out your missiles and clean out the targets all right so here we go guys exactly how i explained putting our minds and this time i am going to be in position two biggs is in position three And our buddy Toys R, Us, Toys R Rush is in position one. Wave one, one missile. Two missiles. That's it. Two missiles for wave one. Make sure that you're facing this area as I explained before. Wave two. One missile. Make sure you continue cloaking if you're in position two. Second missile. Wave completed. You're going to want to do wave two and two missiles. And you notice how I keep on putting my recon mine there in case there was a straggler. I detonated. That's what I was doing. In this situation, we have an escort. An escort, the entire team gets together and goes ahead and, you know, and does the escort. Make sure that you do not cloak when you're in the escort. Use every other power but your cloak because you want to make sure that you're going for time. Again, guys, you guys that are all about score, this is not score. This is all about time. You, you, your score will never be equal or top or anything in this situation when you're going for time. Now, in this situation, since I am on wave two, I'm in position two. I am the one who's doing the cleanup missile. Okay, since I was in position two, I'm the one doing the cleanup missile on wave three. So that was one cleanup missile. There you go. Clean it up. There's just uh, one straggler that kind of messed us up. Would have had a faster time if, if it were not for this phantom. Now, the person from position two and position one will switch places. And now I'm going to put my recon mine and I am going to nuke. You're going to want to wait. Wave 4, one missile. Two missiles. You want to wait a little bit till you see the spawn. Three missiles. And that is it. Wave 4, you're going to want to do it in three missiles. Wave 5 is even shorter. Wave 5, you're going to wait till they all spawn. You see the Banshee yell, one missile, two missiles, and we're done. There you go. Three missiles on wave five, and we're done. Now, you're going to want to do a quick switch in this situation with position two for wave six. That is only because you do not have enough missiles. Well, you, I do have some missiles, but you do not have enough missiles if it, if, if it is targets on wave 6. That's the reason why you do that switch. If it is targets on wave 6, then I would have switched with position 2. Position 2 would have enough missiles for targets on wave 6. In this situation, we had an escort. You're not really going to want to kill anything unless it is right in the escort. You're going to want to take off a few bars of armor from the enemies, and that's why we are detonating our recon mines. But we're making sure we're not destroying the atlases. We're just killing any of the little stragglers that come right into the escort. And this is one of the worst hacks that you can get on Platinum 2. So we 
we actually managed it quite well. And you can use the recon mine, by the way, to, as you can see, stagger the enemies. Alright, in this situation, you need a cleanup missile. The person who was in position 3, which is Biggs, actually cleaned it up. Now, once you clean up on wave 6, this is going to be the third position. And I did on the on the beginning, I did say it was fourth, but again, you know, you could call this third or fourth, but this is where you're going to go next. On wave 7, I just want to make very clear, uh, when Biggs was there, he before he shot his first missile, he was actually not facing directly into the spawn, he was facing away, then looked into the spawn, and then he just continued facing the spawn the way you saw it in the beginning. This situation again, you're going to want to continue cloaking, especially when the when the wave starts. If you're in this position, so the wave starts, cloak like that. The enemies do not draw near to you; they go near to the person that is constantly nuking the spawn. This is very important. And you also have your recon mine there set up in case there is a straggler. You can go right ahead and destroy it if there are stragglers. You do not want to destroy it if they're not, because it will actually it would actually stagger the enemies away from the nuke and you don't want that you want to make sure that whoever's nuking that that in position one those spawns that they do not miss any enemies well done now wave 10 you stay in your positions to see what objective you get in this situation, we got targets. So our buddy stood there, shooting targets in the same position as I told you guys before. Same position. Third target. Fourth target. And now all of us are going to use our nukes to clean up everything to get the fastest time. We don't care what we nuke as long as they're the big boss enemies and everything else. We uh, see. I even nuked the. Uh, uh, <laughs> I even nuked the bomber just to make sure that we cleaned up the wave. Now, this is extraction. I just stood here just to show you guys the, you know, the the, the fourth position here. But um, the entire team, as I said before, us three, we're going to be here on this side, forcing the spawns across the way. And you will see me face to the right, as I told you guys before. You're going to see only one Biggs, which is all the way at the right, and he is uh, making sure that nothing spawns in the center, and also ensuring that the LZ is clear for us that is that is actually uh, and uh, it's it's not too tough in that area but it's still a little tough if the Dragoons come right at you and like I said before guys this is more of a turkey shoot here you have fun just keep on shooting at everything drop your recon mine use any everything you have And as you see, I'm looking at the right just to show you guys where Biggs is at. He's all the way at the edge, as I showed you guys in the beginning of the guide. Now, switching from positions. Position 1 and 2 will switch with positions 3 and 4 after they complete their, their missile runs. And that will be from ways 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then a wave 6, those, those switches will happen between position 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. My first death. Horrible. Yeah guys, this is the amazing speedrun. I want to thank again Jose and the PS3 speedrunning group. And uh, the, we did a great job. We got a good time here and um, and it was a lot of fun guys. And, and just within minutes we, we continued doing the speedrun to get the best time that we could for this guide this is not the record but at the same time this is a great time as you can see a little under nine minutes it was actually really great and the other thing about this guys that we did this uh quite a few tries just for the heck of it and well we i was able to get an extra eight hundred thousand credits um you know in very little time obviously because each run did not last any more than nine minutes 
So yeah guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more great content. And again, thank you Jose and uh, your PS3 team for helping us out with this one. Invader 1 out.